people. Happy Friday. I'm done with class and work for the day. Well, I'm mostly done with work. I have a couple of loose ends I need to tie up later. Getting ready to go to the gym. I didn't go all week because I just wasn't in the headspace to do that, but I'm feeling pretty good today, so I thought I would go get a little workout in. I think I'm going to do 12, 3, 30 on the treadmill, and then I'm going to hit legs because that's really the area of my body that I want to build muscle on. So yeah, I just changed out of my work clothes and I'm getting ready to head out. I trying to think if there's anything that I need to update you guys. As you can tell by the title of this vlog, this is gonna be a weekend in my life. And weekends are kind of weird because normally I'm hanging out with my boyfriend because we do long distance. So we usually just hang out on the weekends, but he is busy with some family stuff going on this weekend so my plans are kind of just up in the air i really need to study and nail down a few concepts because we're really nearing exam time so yeah this is just going to be a fun weekend in my life for tonight i'm going to the gym i'm going to come back here um, clean up the kitchen and eat and then I'm gonna shower, and then I'm gonna study and do homework for the rest of the night, probably. So that's the plan for today. Tomorrow, I do have tickets to Keeneland, which is like a horse racing thing here in Lexington, where I live. Other than that, I have no weekend plans. Gonna play it by ear and take you guys along. Also, forgot to introduce myself. If you're new here, my name is Kate, and I'm in my second year of law school here in Lexington, Kentucky, and I'm kind of just vlogging my life and I'm taking you guys along. So hopefully you'll stick around. Make sure you subscribe, follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok. I'm really thinking about starting to be a little more active on there and making like mini vlogs so there can be more content because I feel like vlogs on TikTok require a lot less work than vlogs on YouTube. So yeah, make sure you follow me on everything. I hope that you'll stick around and I hope you enjoy the video. Also, I forgot to mention, I am gonna do a fall favorites in this vlog. So my favorite clothes, my favorite accessories, um, snacks, miscellaneous items, and I'll do timestamps. So if you just wanna see that part, of the vlog then you're more than welcome to go watch that whenever i do that part but yeah without further ado i'm gonna go to the gym and i'll talk to you guys later the gym um i did 12 3 30 on the treadmill but i only did like 10 minutes um instead of 30 because honestly i just didn't have time to do the full 30 minutes and then i did a little leg workout i'm still kind of getting used to the gym and i hope you guys don't mind that i don't like to film in the gym because i just kind of feel rude doing that when other people are around so that's why i didn't film a lot of the gym today because there was a lot of people in there and i don't know i just felt weird so after i got back from the gym i did some laundry cleaned up the kitchen kitchen looks really good so clean and i just have my fall decorations everywhere and it just makes me so happy I'm trying to think of what else i got done well, anyway, I was having a little protein shake and I realized that Suntan City was about to close. And I always forget they close early on Friday nights, I believe, because I guess they have a lot of like college girls that work there. But I really wanted to get a spray tan in case I did anything tomorrow, um, like for Saturday plans. So I made it with like 15 minutes to spare, got my spray tan, came back here and I've pretty much been working ever since. If you're new here, I am a full-time law student 
and I also have two jobs. So my main job, my like hourly job is at a law firm here in Lexington. I'm a law clerk and basically I just work on estate planning documents, things like that. My second job is more like a side gig. Basically I'm a copywriter for a marketing agency and I write blogs for their clients, which are usually like healthcare tech companies. And they send me like an outline and essentially like what the blog should be about or what it should promote. And then I write it and send it to them. They edit it, let me know if there's anything that I need to change, things like that. My side gig has actually turned into a pretty good way to make money because they've been offering me more and more work. Normally, it's just like two blogs per month, but I've written two regular blogs and a larger blog already this month. And I was finishing up two projects today and I didn't realize how long it was going to take me. So now it's super late and I haven't like studied or anything. Luckily, tomorrow morning, I will have some time to study. Just a little update on my Saturday plans. I am going to Keeneland. My best friend Allison is going to come down and we're going to go. And then I think we're going to study for the rest of Saturday because we're both like drowning in homework. She is in a master's program so she is also very very busy and has a lot of work. So yeah that's pretty much the update for now. Just thought I would give you guys a little insight into my Friday night. Nothing exciting. Um, it's honestly been kind of nice to just relax today and get like my chores done, get those two projects finished up, and get a workout in. I got my spray tan so I'm going to feel super confident and cute tomorrow and yeah i don't know i'm just in a pretty good mood gonna try to go to bed soon honestly i don't think that i have it in me to study any tonight it's just been a really long day i literally had class at 9 a.m and i've been going ever since then i went from class to work to the gym back home to do more work <laughs> so now i'm gonna go to bed and i will see you guys in the morning. Saturday morning. It's a beautiful day outside. Um, there has been a little change of plans. So Allison overslept. So I think we're still going to go to Keeneland. Not 100% sure. I'll keep you guys updated, but just in case we end up going, I'm going to go ahead and do my makeup. I already done my morning like routine. I showered, did my skincare, did some more laundry, and now I'm just having some tea. And whenever I get my makeup done, I'm going to put on some like cat casual clothes and go to a coffee shop and get some studying done and then when Allison gets here I'm sure we will get ready for Keeneland put on our nice outfits and just see where the day takes us this is my natural hair not really because I get Brazilian blowouts which makes my hair much smoother so it just kind of air dried to this and I'm okay with it for now so I'm just gonna leave it like this until um, I get fully ready for Keeneland but I am about to do my makeup I'm not gonna do like a walkthrough because I have no idea what kind of makeup I'm gonna do I've already done my everyday makeup routine on my channel so go watch my previous vlogs if you want to see that but i'm gonna get ready listen to the new t swift album and yeah it's gonna be a good day Okay, my makeup is done. I think it looks pretty good. I did a little something different with my eyes. I think I put more on than I normally would wear. And I don't know. How do I look? Okay, so Allison is about to leave her house, I think. Um, she lives like two hours away. So I have two hours to go to the coffee shop and get some work done. 
So this is my coffee shop fit. I don't know, I kind of like it. I feel like I've been wearing really boring, repetitive outfits and I have a lot of cute clothes. Like I have a ton of stuff to work with so I don't know why I'm not taking advantage of that, you know? So even though I'm only going to the coffee shop this morning, I decided to play around with my fit. I don't remember where I got this. I will try to link something similar down below. Sorry, my camera cut off, but anyway, this is a dress. It's thrifted. Um, it's so cute and flattering. This was such a good find. Then I'm just wearing my docs. Been wearing these all the time. Just wearing gold hoops from Target, rings from Target. And yeah, I don't know. I like it. Okay, see you guys at the coffee shop. Okay, Keeneland fit check. Just wearing jumpsuit with this bodysuit, docks, and I'm just gonna pack a little black bag. Allison, what are your fit details? We got a princess poly dress. Cute. Dangerous looking slit. Cute. Cardigan. For law. For docks. <laughs> Obviously. What did you think about Keeneland? <laughs> it could be fun um, if you have a little bit of a drink. Yeah, it was so crowded and it was really hot too. Yeah, I don't think it's the environment for introverted people. No. Not sober introverted people. No. But I love the horse seats. Yeah. I did. I feel like everybody should go once. Yes. At least. I would still go again in the future now that I know the vibe. I know what yes. to care about myself. Yeah, it was just too hot and there was too many rowdy people. And then we watched, we watched a, a heinous crime in front of us at one point. We watched a little. There was a heinous crime. I filmed it. I'm going <laughs> to put it in here. This is the perfect spot to Easy. put it in. I'm going to have to put like a warning, like a PG-13 thing. No, don't watch. Don't watch. Yeah. Oh, that was funny. And then we went to Drake's and now we're back because we both have to study. Okay, this is my best friend, Allison. I talk about you a lot in the vlogs, but I think the last one you were in was the Paris one. Paris. So, tell us a little bit about yourself. <laughs> tell us about your school, your work. Okay, so, I'm in school to be a therapist. Shocking, I know, since Kate is my best friend. Um, <laughs> and I'm currently a social worker. If you're in a social work program, drop out right now. Same for law school. Just drop out. Just don't go. Just don't. Just just don't put yourself through it. Yeah. Anyway. But we've been best friends for how many years now? Oh my god. Three? Yeah. Almost four? Wait. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Oh so my gosh. we were in the same sorority in undergrad and I took Allison as my little <laughs> and it just kind of Grew from there. I don't think I've ever said that I was in a sorority. I feel like I don't really get that vibe anymore. No. I don't think either of us do. No. <laughs> yeah. No, we don't. But oh. anyway, Good times. we are here to talk about the new Taylor Swift album. I don't know if anybody cares, but I do feel like we'll have some interesting thoughts. So I haven't really had the chance to like form a ton of opinions. But I do feel like I have some opinions. Okay. What's the best song? I'm torn. On the album. I am torn. There's a few. I really love Antihero. Yeah. It is a banger. And the meaning behind it's great. Yes. But I stumbled across High Infidelity. And maybe it's my Gemini self coming out, but... No, I like that one. Should be spitting that one. Um... I need to look. There's another one that I was like, ooh, that's up there. I don't know. That could be. I think fave. My favorite right now is Bejeweled. Mm. 
because it's hitting at this time in my life. But, I don't know, it could change, but I do think Antihero is like going to be a classic. Yes. Like it's going to be one of those songs that people are still playing in like, yes, years. I'm so scared though that it's going to have like shake it off energy and it's going to get to the point where I can't stand hearing it anymore. I don't think, I really don't think so because shake it off is way more poppy. Mm -hmm. That'll be karma. Yeah. On the album, I feel like. Yeah. Would have, could have, should have is also. Mm -hmm. It is good. There's for, so many. For me, this whole album is it gives mirror ball vibes. Yeah. Like, I don't that's the only way I know how to describe it. Because it is, it's like very pop, but at the same time it's got that like deeper meaning. Mm hmm I don't know, I really vibe with it. I was a little nervous. Yeah. Because her last two have been so good, like not her Taylor's versions, but yeah. I, I'm a fan, I listen to it the whole way. I know, I've been listening to it, it's like when I get ready and stuff. Which one did we say neither of us super loved? Was it the You're On Your Own Kid? Yeah. That's the one. I'm get some hate for that. <laughs> I think we probably will. What is the meaning behind that one? I mean, for me, like whenever I first seen it, I'm thinking, oh, I'm going to hear this. And I'm going to feel my deep-rooted childhood trauma be like spoken out in this song. Yeah. And I think just because it wasn't really what I was expecting mm -hmm. it to be, I didn't care for it as much. Yeah. But I do feel like, I feel like it could grow on me. Yeah. I think they could all grow on me. It's just some of them stand out way more than some of the other ones. Yeah. Oh, and Mastermind is so good too. Mm -hmm. that, that one is good. And Maroon, I'm literally just listening off every song on the album. Like, I know. Oh, it's so good. It's all so good and just, has electronic vibes, mm -hmm. I think, which is what I like. Oh, I know, I love Lavender Haze. Mm -hmm. I love that song. It's so good, but yeah, okay. I'll Any other thoughts? Yeah, I don't care about, I expected more from Vigilante. I think I, I, think I did too. Um, I didn't care for that one. Yeah. Bigger than the whole sky. Yeah. People are like speculating what it's about, and I was listening to it, and it just made me like really sad. Yeah. Because of what people have said, but I also I wasn't. I I don't know how I feel about glitch. There were moments where I was like, her voice sounds a little off. And Let me just play a little clip of it. We were supposed to be. Like there. Why did she sound all <laughs> No, I like this one. I listened to it earlier. I like the lyrics in it. I'm a big lyrics person. Mm -hmm. But when she opened up and she hit that, I said, whoa, baby. Whoa, there. Oh. I don't know. I'm going to have to give you another shot a different day because you're killing the vibe right now. Did you hear this one, Dear Reader? I like yeah. that one. Yeah, it's, it's okay. Kind of soft, like background. And I really like Paris, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when you played it for me, I like that one. That one's just kind of fun. I've just already got my little set faves, mm -hmm. and they're like on repeat. Yeah, I do feel like she has been really vulnerable in this one. Mm -hmm. Like in um, Folklore and Evermore, it felt like she was more so telling other people's stories. They were good, and I love that folksy sound, but I feel like this is more her. Yes. Now. Yeah, and like what people have talked about with like the inspiration of 1989 and in between mm -hmm. like her other albums 100%. Because I feel like I relate more to this one than yeah. I ever did 1989. Yeah. Because it just feels like there are deeper meanings mm -hmm. in each song. I don't know, it's just so good. It, it is, is like, good. there isn't a single song on the album that I'm gonna be like, mm, I'll yeah. skip it. Like, I'll listen to it mm -hmm. all the way through. Yeah, but. I think that what I really need from her in the future, if she's willing, another country album. No, I like, just talked about this. Like, country rock. Like, I'm trying to think of who to compare it to. Um, like, I don't know. She could, possibly do like country folk like 
yes. Tyler Childers or something like that. Cry myself to sleep if that happened. With super raw vocals and like, I don't know. Just something like that. Even some guitar would be really nice. No, I just had this conversation with my coworker. She said she was not messing with Taylor Swift anymore and she preferred her as a country artist. And I feel like now that her voice is mature, mm -hmm. she would sound so much better. Yeah, she just gave us a little something. You know she can, because that's her roots. I know. She probably has something stored away. But yeah. I don't know. She's just, if her fans said it long enough, she'd do it. Yeah. She'd drop a little. Well, I do feel like her fan base has really changed because a lot of the people that liked her when she was a little country girl and she wasn't speaking up, yeah, they don't like her anymore because she has spoken up on like women's rights, yeah, LGBTQ plus rights. No one expected that from her. No, no. like, yeah. So oh. I kind of feel like the like country like Nashville crowd has kind oh, of yeah. turned away. They took her off the mural. Yeah. Haters. haters haters hater energy but no i still feel like it'd be a boss move if she did it and then um just to piss them off yeah to show them like she can still do country and do it better than anybody else is doing it 100 imagine oh my gosh i hate that i'm even saying this because she probably thinks even more we can be but if she just put morgan and Will on a little song it would be number that one. would be <laughs> that would break the internet i would personally scream it would break i would but i think she probably looks at him like you're yeah. not tarnishing my reputation. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, sir. Who did she release that, like, baking song with? She, like, rapped. Do you remember this? Wait, baking song? Or are you talking about the, the T-Pain? I think it's the T-Pain thing. The T-Swift and T-Pain? Yeah, you know. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Me and my mom sung that all the time. You we know still what I'm talking day. about. Yeah. I know everything in her white teeth. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Imagine if her and, okay, her and Miley or her and Casey collab. Her and Casey definitely have more of the same vibe now, yeah. but her voice and Miley's like really rough yeah. voice, I think would be interesting. I know. I feel like too, I feel like Miley Cyrus can collaborate with just about anybody mm -hmm. and it turns out to be good. But it would be interesting because both Taylor and Miley, when they're with other artists, they overpower the artists that they're collabing with. Well, yeah, because poor Lana, she didn't even come through. No. She wasn't on that song. No. I needed her to be on that song. That's another complaint I have. It would have mm -hmm. been, and I, that was the perfect song for her too. I'm worried about her. The recent stuff that I've seen of her, she just is not, she doesn't have her glow. But she apparently is happy from like what she says, I think, but I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I literally just talked a bit about this the other day. He said, I can't remember what song I was playing. He said, I seen her on my explore page. Did something happen I'm not aware of? I know. Like, and she's still beautiful. Yeah. Like obviously still beautiful, but it's like her original style and like spunk that she had is gone and i don't really know she's not in the public eye that much anymore mm -hmm. either if she dropped an album it'd be over it'd be over take me to the morgue babe i can't do this 1975 nessa taylor i think that like tumblr style is back for sure because you're going to see the 1975 and I keep seeing people wearing like the more like punky stuff. Absolutely not. No, you cannot have our water. You have a whole fountain and you not still want to have a She wants the bread of water, yeah. <laughs> she has a filter in her, so it's basically the same thing. Mm -hmm. I don't know what mommy has. Thank you. But no, oh, Tumblr fashion and maybe it's, that's what's gonna be the 80s to us. Yeah, it's Tumblr. Okay. So now that we've had our discussion, I think we both need to study and do our homework. Sadly. Do you have any study tips? I do not. Mine is just repetition. Yeah. I will repeat something until it's just stuck. Yeah. Or I'll try to apply it to a real world situation. Mm -hmm. I can't remember what it's called. There's like a little actual, 
there's a map study technique that I use and it's like you put something in a bubble and then you connect it and connect it to something else. Yeah, that's smart. It I mean, probably wouldn't work if, you, if you're a little OCD. Yeah. It gets messy. I'm going to have to try different study techniques. I mean, that mine ain't failed me yet. I'll give them that much. I will. Well, since in two of my classes I can't have notes, like, I'm going to have to actually memorize stuff. Just be in the mirror. That's what I do. I literally don't know, but okay. I will talk to you guys later. Happy Sunday, everybody. It's been a really nice day. It's beautiful outside. I didn't vlog much this morning because I slept in and then I did a little bit of studying and reading and just catching up for this upcoming week. And then me and Allison went to Pasta Garage and it was so good. Some of the best Italian food in Lexington, in my opinion. And she just left to go back home. So sad. I'm definitely going to miss her, but I'm just really glad we got a bestie weekend like i just really needed it but right now i really want to do a fall favorites part of this vlog so i'm going to walk you guys through some products that i've really been loving i'm going to start with self-care things and just things that have been making my life better in general and then i'm going to do fashion and accessories so two categories this time oh i'll add a third category actually i'm going to talk to you guys about some snacks that i've been liking and beverages and things like that i don't think i'm going to go to the library today because I have pretty much all of my books here with me so I just don't really have a reason to go over to school so I'm gonna study here I'll do a study with me I feel like my vlogs on the weekends are a little bit more laid back and I kind of just talk to the camera when I feel like it whereas during the week I really try to show you guys everything that I'm doing so I hope you guys like this format let me know what you think but without further ado I'm gonna get into my favorite of all products right now. Okay, I'm gonna start with this. So this is the Native Body Wash and the scent is Warm Cider and Cinnamon. And I just got this at Target. I'll link it down below for you guys. I also have the shampoo and conditioner in this same scent. And those two items only have 10 ingredients. And the body wash is sulfate free, paraben free, dye free. I can't, I can't pronounce this word, but it doesn't have that ingredient in it. And it says all of the ingredients on the back and it tells you exactly what they are, um, which I really like. I've just been trying to use more natural products and things that aren't harmful to me. So yeah, I really like this. It smells so good. And I really like that they offer the same scent in the shampoo and conditioner. So my whole body kind of has like a uniform smell, if that makes sense. Like I just smell like cinnamon. The shampoo and conditioner also leave my hair really soft and shiny and yeah, love it. 10 out of 10. Okay, I have another hair product here. This is the Trader Joe's Shea Butter and Coconut Oil Hair Mask. And I actually need to get a new one of these because this one's out. It moisturizes and revitalizes dry, damaged hair, deep conditioning for soft and silky hair, vitamin E infused. Okay, so I normally have pretty frizzy, hard to manage hair. And this, number one, it smells really good. Number two, my hair really does feel a lot healthier and softer when I use this. Um, I don't use it every day. I use it like every other wash and I leave it in for like three minutes, rinse it out and i just really like how it makes my hair feel next product is this sunscreen i've talked about this before this is the innisfree matte priming uv shield sunscreen just looks like this i got this from sephora and i really like this because it really does help with mattifying i do have some oily skin especially like in my t-zone area and i just really found that this helps and i'm um, protecting my skin from the sun at the same time i worked with merit a couple of videos ago they sent me this to try and you know show it to you guys and i just wanted to give them another shout out this is the Great Skin Serum, and I just really like this stuff. My skin is immediately more glowy and just like bouncy when I put it on, and it's been a really good addition to my skincare routine. So I think I'll continue to use this 
throughout the fall and winter just because it gives me that glow and it really feels like it helps my skin to stay moisturized. This Trader Joe's candle, my friend Cami got this for me. She put it in like a little fall basket that she got for me, which was so sweet. This is the Honeycrisp scented candle made with natural soy wax blend, lead free cotton wick. Once again, I'm trying to opt for more natural things that aren't gonna harm me. They don't have a ton of like toxic chemicals. Pretty sure soy candles are better for you than the other kind of candles, I guess, just from what I've read. But even though this is small and it doesn't look like it would put off a lot of scent, it fills up my whole kitchen with this really nice scent. So 10 out of 10 recommend if you want to try different candles, soy candles, Go to Trader Joe's, get yourself one of these, and uh, let me know what you think. Okay, now I'm going to talk about my fashion favorites for the fall. Some of these are going to be more trendy things, things that everybody already likes, and it's like not breaking news, but one thing I've really been loving is chunky thrifted sweaters. I guess they don't technically have to be thrifted, but I find that it's just so fun to go to the thrift store and find a really high quality sweater and you just wash it and it's already worn in it's already comfy and you can basically pair them with anything i feel like they go with jeans trousers skirts literally anything i have a few that i wear in my videos often i'm sure you guys have seen which is why i don't have them down here with me to show because you guys have definitely already seen them but this is a good example of what i'm talking about this one's from target it's not thrifted but it's just so cozy and i throw it over a t-shirt and i'm just warm cozy fall vibes. My next fall favorite in the fashion category is a pair of Levi's that I got from Revolve. I can't exactly remember the name, but I do know they're wide leg and I will link them down below for you guys because I love them. They're so flattering. Sometimes it's hard for me to find jeans that I like, but I absolutely love these. They were like under a hundred bucks. You can't beat that for a pair of jeans that's gonna last a long time. Okay, another favorite is just like a Hanes comfy jacket with a hood. I normally don't like clothing that has a hood because it just kind of annoys me and gets in the way, but I recently got just a regular gray Hanes jacket from Amazon. It was like under $20, I'm pretty sure, and I love just throwing it on like if I go to the gym and it's chilly outside or if I just want to kind of dress down an outfit. Love, love, love. Such a good staple to have. I don't know why I didn't invest in one before, but I'm glad I have one now. Okay, I'm going to move on to accessories because I feel like I already talked about all of my fashion favorites. Okay, so I don't know if you guys remember Alex and Annie, Alex and Ani. It was a jewelry brand that everybody was obsessed with in high school and they made like the charm bracelets. So me and Allison were on the hunt for like matching best friend rings and I wanted to have her birthstone, which is emerald, and she wanted to have my birthstone, which is amethyst. And we were on the hunt and she found these ones from Alex and Annie. So this one is mine and I just got it. Um, so I cannot speak to how durable this is going to be, but I just think it's so cute and like Allison has hers and it's purple and I just think it's really cute. If you don't have bestie rings, I definitely recommend. Okay, so this next item I'm obsessed with and I cannot wait to wear it even more throughout the fall and winter seasons. This was actually sent to me by Teddy Blake New York and it's this beautiful, beautiful bag. Like, come on, how beautiful is that? And it's so well made. It's very roomy on the inside and it just has the name here. It even has these little feet thing on the bottom so it protects the bag. And I'm just so thankful that they sent this to me because I love it. And I really think this color is going to go with a lot of stuff. You guys know me. I'm normally a neutrals kind of girl. I don't really play with color a lot. But I decided to kind of step out of my comfort zone and I got this maroonish color. So this is the Chiara Croco 11 inch. Um, and the color is Bordeaux. And I'm going to link this down below so you guys can go look. So Teddy Blake sent me some information about their brand and I've kind of been reading up on it. And their mission is to provide high quality, luxury, Italian made goods at a fraction of the price of other luxury brands that people buy from. Which I really appreciate as a student. 
I love having well-made things that I can style and feel confident wearing, but I am still on a student's budget, so I really, really like their mission. Thank you so much, Teddy Blake, for sending me this. I absolutely love it. Cannot wait to use it more. Okay, I'm going to take you guys to the kitchen so we can go through my favorite fall snacks and drinks. First and foremost, I want to talk about Celsius. They sent me a 12 pack of these. Um, grape is my favorite flavor in Celsius. And normally I don't love energy drinks, but I really like Celsius because I don't feel overly energized, if you know what I mean. Like it's a good, solid energy that it provides. Um, and I just really like this flavor. And this is gonna be getting me through exams. So I wanted to give them a shout out. And then probably my literal favorite coffee creamer ever. Love this pumpkin spice Chobani coffee creamer. It's not too pumpkin-y. Like it's not overpowering or anything. And it's just really light and nice. And I'm going to try other flavors as we get into like the holidays and things like that. So 10 out of 10. Love this. And then another Trader Joe's item. If you know me, you know that I don't love peanut butter. But these ones... Are delicious these peanut butter cups love this and i just wanted to share this with you all if you don't like peanut butter try this because you might actually like these okay that's it for favorites um i think i'm going to clean up my kitchen and clean out my fridge right now because i have to go pick up groceries from kroger around seven i think and i just want to make sure all of the old food is out of my fridge so i have plenty of room for all of my new stuff that I got. So yeah, thanks for watching this far. If you have, I will talk to you later.